Hello everyone, welcome back to Zobo Vlogs. So I have a uh, genius solar battery which I'm going to use for my 55 watt uh, uh, loom sonar. It's a mono perk, I just installed those and I'm using uh, uh, some 20 AH battery. I wanted to upgrade that and use uh, a tubular battery. So that's the reason I bought it because I already got uh, another system from Genius, it's a complete solar solution. So I will make a video on that as well. But now for this video I just wanted to uh, unbox this and uh, also uh, show you how to set up this battery. So let me uh, open the package. The package is not uh, damaged or anything. I was worried mostly because of any uh, leaks from the battery. But it doesn't seem like it uh, has any leaks as of now. And uh, uh, this was ordered to Amazon and it costed me around 6,490 or something. And uh, also it is delivered to delivery uh, I mean like uh, uh, delivery couriers. So they had it uh, got it here on the phone and they have delivered it. So as you open you have the warranty card and the uh, battery connects along with them also uh, there is a leak you can see there is distilled water uh, leak in the package as you can see and uh, uh, these are the level supporters so i will show you how to install these as well but for now let me pull the battery out it seems that there is a lot of leakage I couldn't know in the box, but uh, uh, I, I has to like you know uh, remove this and just remove the box. It seems that the cover uh, protected the uh, leak from going into the box, but it's a kind of mess for me now. So uh, let me clean it up a bit. I think you are unable to see it but if you have noticed my hand, it's all over the battery. So let me clean that. I just cleaned up the battery, uh, my skin started burning so I has to wash my hands. This was one concern I had uh, with my other battery which I have uh, uh, ordered from the same genius company. So it's a 175AH battery so I was more worried for that product but it seems like this product has uh, been damaged. So I will show you how to like you know fill this, they are quite hard so let me use uh, So do not miss these uh, caps, keep them very safe because you might need them uh, uh, when you are like you know uh, transporting your uh, battery from one place to another so keep them safe so that in future whenever you are like using this battery it will be very really helpful. For me the level seems to be fine, it does not much uh, leakage. So this um, has to open and uh, we need to fit them for each cell. So uh, let me put and show you. So it will have two, uh, I mean like level pointers, one is red and one is green. So whenever your battery has uh, like you know proper levels of distilled water in that cell it will be uh, uh, like you know near the green but whenever it goes below this level you have to refill with a distilled uh, water so 
so you might get that from your nearby uh, battery shop you can check there or if you don't have any battery shop nearby you can even get that from amazon as well so i have tightened it and i can see that the level uh, is not actually to, to, to the top green so i has to refill for this tomorrow probably i will uh, get one distilled water uh, one liter one and i will keep it because i might need it to recharge and uh, refill my uh, other battery as well uh, anytime so uh, having an extra uh, like a quantity of distilled water is not going to be a waste for me so same this cell also has the same level so i will just uh, uh, fit on to this ball as well this cell seems to be having a proper level but this uh, two cells like this one has a minimum this one has little higher than that and this is like in you know, completely to the top so using this circles very well whichever cell has less distilled water you need, you need to fill it so uh, for this particular battery you might need to uh, fill it uh, with the same pointer but for other tubular batteries you get an another port where you can refill your battery you can also give you an opener for that so using that you can now fill your battery so once you fill uh, once you fit all of this i can check the level this one has little uh, lesser than the pointer and this two has the same level as this one and these two are at the same level and these two are at the same level so i might need to fill uh, uh, these four ports a little water not too much or uh, just a little quantity of the distilled water for now we just test this battery by connecting a dc fan to this i have got a uh, dc fan which i recently got from amazon so i'm thinking to connect this directly to the battery and see so this one is past you i have uh, i'm let me connect the negative one that side first first time whenever you connect a battery uh, you get a spark so to avoid that there is a method to uh, avoid that but for now you just like you know uh, put it like this way. the battery works so it is working fine all this for this video i will just show you in my next video how to uh, how do i set up this one and how is a back uh, backup and all so don't forget to subscribe and like my video if you have any questions you can leave a comment i'm very active in responding to the comments till then have a nice time bye bye